My name is Bob Beatty, UC Farm Advisor in Kings County for tree crops, and I have with me again Chris Wiley, uh, Ranch Manager of AgriWorld. Uh, we now have a tree that would be a third leaf tree, and we're now going to have Chris come in and kind of uh, perform some pruning and explain to us uh, the cuts that he's going to make, as well as whatever tying he might perform and, and why you prefer that tying. Chris? Okay. First of all, I mark all, everybody's share has got to be marked because they have to understand 16 inches and 22 inches. And usually most fruit wood, we go 16 inches or less. If it's real low like these, I don't care if they want to bring it, you throw that up there so you get you got about 16, then you got it. It's, it's going to stay there. Same with this. It's about 16 inches. If you want to go a little shorter, that's fine. It doesn't matter. But then, then we have all of the secondaries, and I don't go more than 22 inches because it's all about strength and girth. Same with this, and I, I have the men measure until they get used to the lengths. Because anything, if I throw my shears up there and they, they got them up here, 30 inches is way too long. These whips got to be between 20, 16 inches and 22 inches. Chris has said that he wants 22 inches from the origination of the secondary to the tip of the tertiaries. Right. Bob Peterson, one of the godfathers of the pistachio industry, developed this system of what he called ratio pruning, which is to have two branches arising from the previous structural branch. So you're building a house, and his feeling very strongly was that by if you had one primary, then you would have two secondaries arising from that primary, and if you had, then you have off of each secondaries, then you would have two tertiary branches arising off the secondary. Is that an accurate yeah, description, Chris? Exactly. Okay, that's the principle behind racial pruning. But we want to, we want to build this framework because you have about six years, maybe seven years, to get the structure, get the canopy, then the fruit comes, and once the fruit comes, and Bob could relate to this the growth slows down. So if you don't build your tree by at least year seven or eight, you, you, your growth is going to be between six and 15 inches a year. 22 inches every year for the first seven years. You'll have a beautiful tree. So over here, we have an abomination. This is a violator of the <laughs> ratio rule. It doesn't always happen. <laughs> so we need the expert to tell us how we're going to get this guy back into shape. No problem. What do we do? We can st steal this lower growth, this fruit wood, I'm gonna, right now it's fruit wood. And if I tie it up, it becomes a framework limb. So then I have my two off the primaries. So I got my two secondaries. One, you oh. just hung your shears on that thing yeah. that it's down low. What, what do you think you ought to do about that? Well, I already have three primaries, and I'm happy. Three primaries is beautiful, so this is just gonna go. Just, just too cut, low. Too low. Tie this up to make it a permanent position. Actually, this cut should have been done last year. They just kind of missed it. Okay, now Chris, tell us what kind of uh, tie material you're using it's here. It's a nylon. It's called Ava Strapping Cotton. I know there's lots of names for it. CBC. There's different companies, but I like. It's a cross mesh. It's very strong. And I tra train my guys to make sure they tie it at least. Well, let's go ahead and net to 22 inches. But on this, I don't have any secondary, so I'm going to just kind of go a little. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to go a little shorter so I can get some secondaries. But if you cut it, if you tie it too low, it's going to cut itself. But if you tie it higher, it won't, it won't hurt itself. It won't cut into the wood. And as it grows this season, it just kind of pushes itself in. So it's very, and I try to get in an upright position. And some people think it's too upright. As far as I'm concerned, pistachio, there's no such thing. More upright, the better. He has these tertiaries. Do you want to leave three or no? You, you right. gotta... I'm going to tie this up. And if I broke this, I would keep this. I got my ratios. And flat limbs have no strength. Trust me, they have no strength. Their first crop load, I've seen trees completely invert, just completely open up. If I have my structure, my primaries, secondaries, tertiaries, and then everything up upright after the first seven years, I can support 7,000 pound crops. But the first five years on these young trees are very important. you got to get them upright. This canopy will be put all the growth on the top. Net me my, 
three or four feet this year, and I'll come back in the winter next year and net 22 inches. If I can net 22 inches every year, I'm a happy pruner. Thank you.